Hey guys, I'm John and welcome to my channel. So a few of my subs have actually asked me how to install the 7 Days to Die mod launcher, how to install mods on the mod launcher, and also how to use the nitrogen map to live here with a combo pack. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to throw all that info into one video and hopefully you guys find this informative. So for those of you that just want to play, like for example, Where's UK, Darkest Falls, all those mods, you don't want to make your own map, you just want to play this. Just go to, I'm going to have all these links in the description down below. Just click on this one that says similarstylemodlauncher.org. It takes you to this side and you left click over here when it says download. Just left click over here. And it's going to ask you to save this file. Now I already have it installed so I'm not going to save it now. Go to this file in your downloads folder. Click, double click it, install the mod launcher and then you should have this. Now what I usually do is I put it over here so it's easier to access. But now you should have the mod launcher installed. So if you just want to go and you want to install say Where's UK and stuff like that. Basically, okay, let's just go with this one. It doesn't sh really show. I already have Darkest Falls, Where's UK, and War of the Walkers installed. So for this one, for example, you're going to go and say install game copy and choose copy from existing if you have the vanilla game. So if you want to copy this, just the normal vanilla game, um, you, you do that. You can also do download from Steam, but you're going to have to download, uh, disconnect from Steam, and it's a, it's a very tedious process. So if you're just installing this thing for the first time, guys, you don't have any modlets, anything installed or combo packs, just say copy from existing, install the game. And then what it's going to show you is something like this. Then you say pre-sync mod and it installs the latest version of that mod. So it's going to say it's not installed yet. Do you want to install it? You click yes. It installs it. Guys, only pre-sync if you really don't care about losing um, stuff. For example, um, I know in 7 days to die, or oh, Darkest Falls over here, there's every update you have to restart. So I don't pre-sync ever if I want to keep my save. Say version, it's not version 3.3 or 3.2. Say version 3.3 comes out. Um, and I want to still play my current save. Don't pre-sync the mod. Unless you want to restart, then pre-sync it. It's going to go to the latest version. And then all I have to say is play mod. Just make sure your Steam folder or your Steam app over is open because that's how you play these mods. Do not launch the game through Steam. That's just going to launch the vanilla game. Remember, you said copy from existing to be able to get this mod. So now it's actually made a new copy and that copy is going to be over here. Half 19, these are your copies now. Um, these are where I actually saved. Yeah, this is empty. I had this one installed before, but I'm going to show you guys this. So I'm going to use this as an example. So if you just want to play Darkest Falls, guys, just download the link, install the mod launcher, go to the mod you want, make the drop down go like this, click over here, copy from existing, it's going to show you pre-sync, you pre-sync the mod and you play the mod. That's it. Now, depending on how big the mod is, I know Darkest Falls and WZK sometimes take really, really long, because it'll show over here when it's done, and then you can play the mod. But like I said, just make sure your Steam is open. Now, for those of you that want to do what I do, where you create your own map with the Nitrogen to live here, and you want to add new and exciting pure eyes with a combo pack, click on these two links as well. It's going to be the Nitrogen Random uh, World Generator and the Megolas uh, Combo Pack Current Thread. Click on those two links. So the first one, the Nitrogen tool. You go to Nitrogen version 0.481 Experimental. This just allows you to uh, generate multiple maps, guys, because this tool over here, you specify, do you want, what kind of biomes you want, uh, what kind of roads you want, do you want flat terrain, hilly terrain. If you guys are anything like me, you hate the hills, you want to take them out. So landscape, you can put it flat, flat, flat or you can put mostly flat, smoothing, smoothest. So that's basically going to be like flat, flat, flat terrain without any hills. I don't know if you guys just want to pause the game and copy all of this over here. For those of you that saw my uh, series or my stream on Apocalypse, this is the settings I used. So what you basically do now is, this is now installed. Okay, you click on that link. It's going to ask you again, save. I already haven't uh, saved, so I'm not going to do it. Guys, this is a zip file. So you unzip it, and I unzip mine to desktop over here. So now that you have that one, you go to Magolas Combo Pack over here. Scroll down, it says download the method you play here, and click on Nitrogen. It's going to take you to OneDrive. It's going to show the mod pack over here. It's mod pack 46, or combo pack 46 rather. And now it's going to ask you to save again. Once again, I already have mine installed. It's once again a zip file. So save the file, go to your downloads, unzip it. And I unzip mine to make it easy to find. I unzip mine inside the nitrogen folder. So it's just easier to keep everything together. Now, the tricky part comes. As soon as you are to this step, guys, it's going to be really, really easy to complete. Just go combo pack. 
please copy all files. You go into this file. You select all the files inside this folder. Copy. You go to your program files, Steam, Steam apps, common, seven days to die, data, and prefabs. And you just literally paste all of that over here. So now I already have mine installed uh, because I've, guys, this recording is taking me a few attempts now. Uh, but yeah, it's calculating how much it still needs to put in. Basically, what it's doing now is it's taking all the combo pack POIs in that folder and putting it in your vanilla games prefabs folder. So now you say replace file. I'm, I'm just going to say skip files because I already have these in over here. So now all those POIs are in this vanilla game folder over here. Remember, guys, this is vanilla. You're just putting all those uh, extra POIs in the prefabs folder over here. Technically, if you create a random gen world now, it should still it should actually also use from these POIs. But I'm not quite sure on that one because I haven't tried that yet. So now that you've installed the combo pack over here, Apocalypse now, guys, this mod actually works with the combo uh, pack and with Nitrogen tool. So now you go and you install this mod. Apocalypse now, we say install copy from existing. Now, when I do this, it's going to copy from, this, uh, from the vanilla over here. But remember, we just copied all those other combo pack your eyes into vanilla as well so it's going to copy that for us so now we just say copy from existing install game copy and it's going to install over here it shouldn't take too long because this isn't a complete overall like docs falls or ways uk but yeah while we wait for that one we go to our folder over here go into nitrogen and then now i don't know if you guys want to copy mine like i said um this is my apocalypse now stream that i did this is what it's going to look like or this is the settings i use to get that map so basically, you name your own map. Um, as you guys know, the game has, uh, the game has maps already. Never gain, random gen, pre gen, one, two, three, and then yeah, you can just random gen it all the way if you want. Now this is where this is gonna pop up. So what you want to do basically is you're gonna go for any map name you want. Say test one. You're gonna choose the map size you want over here. And you're just going to go through all these settings. Say whether you want towns, no towns, cities. As you guys see, I have cities, lots. And the size, the bigger size you can get, but no towns, no rivers, no lakes, nothing. And then also over here, um, this is how smooth the landscape is. So basically no hills. You can actually over here see these settings show over here. So it's going to be mostly flat. It's going to be a little bit random and there's going to be no mountains, deserts or rocky areas. Or just very little of them. Over here by the prefab list, you just click on A19.1 CP46. And then over here, you choose how many maps do you want to generate right now. So let's go for two. Um, the, obviously, the more maps, the longer this is going to take. But now it's going to go, at, as soon as you say generate over here, guys, it's going to make two games or two maps. Um, and basically, it's just going to make it random. Now, you specified what kind of terrain it needs to be. And you specified that it should use the combo pack. But you can't pick where the POIs go. So the more maps you generate, the more likely you are to find a map that you want. So now we just go generate world. While that is going, let's just quickly check over here if this is done. Yeah, see, this one's already downloaded. Nice. Now we just go and say, have I pre-synced it yet? No, no, uh, yeah. Now you go and say pre-sync on this one. Remember, you just said download, but it's not installed yet. So you pre-sync mod for the first time. Would you like to download it now? Yes. So that's performing a full clone out of the mod to the uh, to your computer. This one's very small, guys. Where's your case? Like 4,000 or 9,000 or something. It's just, it takes forever. And same with the Arcus Falls. So those big overalls take way longer to install, but these smaller mods are easier. Okay, so now it's installing the mod on your PC. While that is busy over here, as you guys can see, it's now completed both world generations. We have finished generating new world, finished generating new world. So two maps have now been in, uh, been created, been generated. They just minimize that. In your nitrogen folder over here, go to output. And then as you guys can see, I named it test one, but it's going to make a one map and two maps. I should actually just labeled it test and then it will have been test one, test two. So you go into test one, you go into preview, you go into preview map, and it shows you what the map's going to look like, where the pure eyes are going to be. The, all I always know, guys, is the pink ones are the traders. There's actually a list. If you go down over here, if you scroll down far enough, there's going to be a color list of, of where all the pure eyes are. I think it's either there or here. On one of these two links, it shows you actually what those colors mean. But the pink basically just means traders. Now, what I usually look for is, okay, it's nice and flat. I don't want to see this. The hill in the middle of here. So we see there's a nice amount of traders of here spread out and evenly over there. It's not too clustered. The map looks nice, but 
I don't know if we want to like this. Oh, we're going to use this one. So let's close that one. We're going to go back to the preview over here and we're going to go to map number two. Preview that one. Check this one out. See, now this one over here has a nice, uh, the, the towns are spread out a little bit further. And this one we might just use. Okay. So since we like this one now, we're going to go to the output. We're going to select the map we want to use. Remember, guys, you just went in there and checked if you like the map or not. So if you like that map, you just copy it. I just want to check if this mod is installed already. See, this one's instantly installed. It's really, really fast. So now I can just minimize that. Now this map, you're going to go into... Just want to see if I can find the C drive. 7 I, Alpha 19, Apocalypse Now. Just go in there, go to Data, and Worlds. As you guys can see, it says empty, Navis game, playtesting, uh, play pre-gen 1, 2, and 3. That's vanilla maps. Now you just paste the map you want in over here. That's all you need to do. Now, as soon as you run this, let's just close this all down. Remember guys, if you want to play a mod, don't run it through Steam. We just installed everything in Apocalypse over here. We installed Apocalypse. We put all the combo packs in the vanilla before we copied it. And we also put the map inside the mod as well now. So now all we do is say play mod. It's, install uh, it's actually running the game right now. Because I hope this is not too all over the place. Uh, but yeah, this is how I do things. If you want to skip a few steps and leave a few things out, by all means, go ahead. You don't need to follow all the steps that I'm following right now. Just realized my sound's going through my speaker, not my headpiece, so you guys can't hear anything. Now, this is the mo uh, this is actually a screenshot I took for him. That's why he says screenshot by John's game. He's giving me credit for this one over here. So now if you go and you say new game, and you go over here where it says game world, just click all the way to the right, pre-gen 1, 2, 3, test, our test map that we created on Nitrogen is here. That's all you need to do. Now, as soon as you run it, um, let's go for just basic default settings over here. So we already selected the world over here. You can name it whatever you want, guys. Test, whatever. We'll, let's just do it the same as the game world over here. Let's say start game. We'll allow access. It's basically going to load up the game, and then if we did this right... As soon as we get close to a town, we'll see all these new PRIs that Vanilla does not have. And if you have any questions, or I skipped over something, or I confused you a bit, uh, just leave a comment down below and I will respond to them. But yeah, in the beginning of the video, I showed you how to just do the mods. Basically, what I did installing the Apocalypse Now mod, without doing the combo pack installation and the creating of the world and stuff, just how I installed the mod and pre synced it, that's all you need to know for Darkest Fools and Ways UK. But if you want to install combo packs and your own maps and stuff, then you follow what I just did, but you obviously do it in your own mod that you want to try it in. Remember, not all big mods are compatible with the combo pack or with the nitrogen tool. I know, for example, Darkest Falls is not compatible, so that's why I tried to split those two in the beginning of the video, so you just know that there are some mods that can't do this, and there are some that can. Now all you do is... I'm just going to go into God Mode over here to fly around. It's just generating the world quickly. At first time loading, guys, is really, really slow. I go into God Mode. And the nice thing about this mod, for those who don't know, is it actually gives you, as soon as you do the bedroll quest, um, it gives you all the stuff you need. Okay, so, yep, over here, as you guys can see, Whale World, this is not vanilla. Man, this is a lot of lag. This is a mega town, guys. That's why it's lagging this much. So, if you, don't, if you want less lag, just go for a large ball. Don't go for the mega ones. Let's see if there are any other... Oh, this one's a big one. I still haven't actually looted this POI yet. As you guys can see, now the combo pack is in. This is our map that we created. So the preview that we watched to see if the map, a map is to our liking. If you go through that one, you can actually more or less tell where you are on the map. So now you have a preview of what the map looks like, where to find what. The combo pack is taken, uh, has taken because these are definitely not vanilla. There's no such big building in vanilla. It's actually a cool POI. But yeah. Um, so I hope you guys have found this informative. I hope I'm not too all over the place. Now guys, for those of you wondering the stutter, it's because I'm doing a screen capture, uh, because my graphics card really isn't strong enough for this, and because this is a mega town. If this was a large town with less pure eyes, we wouldn't have this much of a problem. But all we did right now was we installed a mod, and in that mod, we put a map of our own with a combo pack. That's why there's new pure eyes, and the map is how we specified it to be. 
So yeah, if you guys like this video and want to see more videos like this, please like this video. So hit that like button. If you haven't done so already, guys, and you like my content um, or you're curious about my content, just uh, go to my channel. There's a ton of Darkest Falls, Where's UK. There's even War of the Walkers a bit. Um, a ton of Let's Plays. And hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoy that content. But yeah, guys, if you found this video informative, please hit that like button. Any comments or questions or anything at all, leave that, com uh, leave that down below and I'll just respond to you guys and help you out. But yeah, this is how you make your own world with Combo Pack. You don't even need to do the mod installer. If you just put this into your vanilla game and saves like we did in the beginning and run vanilla random gen, it should give you these buildings. Uh, but since we had one of our own map and we wanted to combine it with a mod in the mod launcher, we went through all those extra steps. Yeah, leave a comment down below. And if you guys are new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time as we do a few more Let's Plays.